Hi everyone, welcome back to Astro Week Who's Hot This Week Horoscopes uh, for the week of October 10th to 16th, 2016 that I write for the Echo Newspapers and good old Supernatural Kamloops BC all presented by the sunnyside.net and uh, I'm sunny and I'm a little, uh, I'm snuffily sunny, <laughs> I'm a little under the weather man I've been under the weather for like two weeks, you know, I was in the hospital and then I got a little better, and then I got sick, and then I got and I was like, oh man, there were like two, three days in a row, I was sitting on the floor right here beside the heat, and I'm like, man, I can't move, I can't make it home, but like, whatever, everything is cool. Alright, thank you for your concern. <laughs> Alright, let's get on to some horoscopes, if you want to skip the messages, uh, you know, feel free. <laughs> Okay, first, what's going on? Okay, new videos coming up. The next one is who's the most dishonest sign? And that's, uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. That one is long. <laughs> I'm trying to make them shorter and shorter because, like, you know, I wouldn't really, you know, I would sit, I do sit and watch 20-minute videos, but, like, um, I don't know, I like the videos that, that I make here, but, like, I wouldn't click on it. <laughs> like, I was looking through and I'm like, if I'm in a rush, I wouldn't click on a 20 minute, I'd click on a 10 minute video. But like, you know, I'm gonna sacrifice numbers for quality, I guess. And um, I'm gonna put timestamps in, uh, in the description section. Of course, I'm not gonna say who's who, but I'll put some timestamps down there. So if you wanna skip the blah, 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 it's gonna be easier for you guys to do it. And I'll do that in the upcoming, uh, in the rest of the videos coming up. I mean, why not? <laughs> I do it for the horoscopes, why don't I do it for those other videos? So that's coming along. What else is going up? So the next one is who's the most dishonest, followed by how to seduce a cancer. Oh yeah, oh man, Sunny is definitely under the weather. And if you're wondering how to seduce a cancer, it's a lot easier than you think. You just gotta know what you're doing. And the um, and on the other hand, you don't want to crush your little crab too hard, <laughs> but there's a way to do it. Alright, what else is going on? Uh, new videos, right? Oh, more on new videos. Uh, Miss T, we have a new Miss T, right? Miss T wants us to do who's the most loving astrological sign. And, uh, okay, but that's a loaded one, you know? There's, and I'll tell you what I wrote here, there's no sign that really loves more than another. It's like saying feeling pain, you know? Everybody feels pain in their own way. You can't say this guy feels pain more or less than another. And so, and um, again, it's a loaded question and that bleeding heart, right? That bleeding heart angst that comes from loving isn't really found in any of the the traditional planet. It's ruled by something else. Bleeding Heart is the planet of Chiron. And uh, in one of the st uh, uh, styles of astrology I studied a long time ago, actually uses Chiron as a major indicator of relationships, of love relationships. Although I kind of disagree with it, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but like the, um, that's not the, nevertheless, that's exactly what they look at. And that is found in everybody's chart. <laughs> so, um, it's also it's also um, unfair to say that the planets like um, planets, it's also unfair to say that the signs like say Aquarius or Capricorn that are less demonstrative or less showy uh, with their affections than like Cancer or uh, or Leo, let's say. You know, Leo's ruled by the heart. And they're, but they're demonstrative. It doesn't mean they love more than someone else. Same with cancer. Just cancer has a reputation of like doing everything for the, that they, you know, taking care of people. No, it, that's not how it works. It's again, it's like pain. Just because you feel things differently or you express yourself differently, doesn't mean that um, you know you're not hurting. It doesn't mean that you're not loving. It doesn't mean that they don't care. They're just showing it differently. So again, it's a loaded, it's a loaded question, and uh, you know, fair is fair. And those top six lists are are for fun, but they are also based in astrology. And I'm not going to, uh, 
I'm not going to... I'm a Scorpio, I'm not a Libra, I'm not going to spew BS on my own channel. <laughs> so, that's the action on that. Next, Sunny's under the weather, let's get down to some horoscopes here. Alright, this week, I had taken a quick look at my horoscope chart, <laughs> of the, the, the weekly chart. Alright, this week, we have a beautiful full moon in Aries. That means, we're all going to be, that means secrets are going to be uncovered, okay? Things that you've been working towards, or things that have been happening wherever it is in your chart, right? It might be behind the scenes, it might be up front, it might be in your public, it might be, like it could be anywhere, right? And uh, it depends on the person. Then, um, but it's in Aries, so it's going to be fast, it's going to be like ripping a band-aid off, it's going to expose you, it's going to be competitive, it might cause a fight, it might be an argument, but it's definitely more going to be, it's going to feel like a stick and move. For some people, it might hurt, and uh, it might cause embarrassment. You know, Aries tend to hurt others and cause embarrassment. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So, be aware of that. The beginning, you know, first two thirds of the week, we're all going to be flighty and floaty and like running from, you know, attracted to shiny things, <laughs> and we'll be like working towards our goals. We might be a little emotional. We'll be, we will be, all be. We will all be psychically in tune at the beginning, first half of next week. And then, we're going to have a revelation hit us. And that's very important right now. Because we're entering into a year, like we've already entered it, right? We're here. Those, uh, for all year, you've been hearing us say, it's coming, it's coming. We've been retracing our steps. We've been doing, we're doing. Well, look, it's here, okay? Ready or not. And so, get those feet moving. And next week at the full moon, you're going to see exactly where we actually are. So, good luck. <laughs> so, good luck. For better or worse, you've arrived. So, that's it. Oh, there's one more. For, uh, we're, in, we're going through a major cycle of expansion that hasn't happened since uh, 2004, 2005. And it's going to repeat itself right now. So, if you're doing a, uh, starting any project or anything and you look, make sure it's big, you know, make sure it's, uh, can bring in a lot of whatever you want. You know, if you want a lot of fame and publicity, then like, go for it. If you want a lot of money, go for it. If you want to find your dream love, just go for it and like, be ready for it. And holy moly, I'll tell you what happened to me last night, like this is, I'm sick, right? So I'm a little spaced out, and I've been, I still work seven days a week all over, the, like, three different cities, right? To helping them, helping the little kids, and the, uh, and big kids, <laughs> and adults, uh, and, um, they've, uh, it's been, like, oh, so here's what happened to, whatever, Sonny, let's go on. Next, so that's the action. I hope you guys don't have too many questions, because... I'm spacing out. Alright, fan mail. Alright, there's some fan mail, but it's getting to become a lot. And you guys are, uh, guys aren't, guys are getting a little pushy. You know, someone just sent me a message. I'm a Cancer Dragon. What does that mean? Huh. Well, I know a Cancer Dragon. I'll tell you. You want me to be nice to someone who talks to me like that? I'll tell you what it means. Wait till you see my biggest liar video. <laughs> you are highly represented there. Okay, what about the Aries who get upset about blah, 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 blah? No, okay, calm down, Sonny. Okay. To the person, and I don't have it in front of me, who wants to know, and I'm always saying I'm a double Scorpio, and, you know, if do you want to know your rising sign or this, just uh, send me your email, and I'll... Send me an email with your, your, your data, and I'll print it up for you. Or um, go to astro.com and just type it in right there, and it'll tell you everything you want to know. You'll get a free chart. Boom, boom, boom. Done. Okay. All right. Enough. And that's it. All right, here we go. Here are the horoscopes for October 12th. What the hell? <laughs> the horoscopes for October 10th to 16th. 2016. <laughs> Let's drink some coffee. <laughs> All right. 
Oh man, 10 minutes of blah blah blah. Here we go. Full moon in Aries, right? Everybody be careful. We're a new beginning time. Abs well, like, full moon's not the new beginning, right? But like, we have already begun. And we're just gonna see where we are. So as freaky as it may be, as upsetting as it may be, as pleasant and surprisingly benevolent as it may be, uh, this is where we are. So be cool with it and get those feet moving because this is, you have a major opportunity for success right now. I cannot explain enough. I cannot emphasize this enough. Back at that, in those, that time period, events happened that changed my life and they happened out of the blue and yeah I was ready for it yeah I had the money to take advantage of it yeah I had the resources yeah I was good enough and the uh, but it changed my life and it helped me become the person I am today and the person I will be for the next couple of years and so I fully expect the same thing to happen this year and I can see it happening to other people as well so once again if there's something, whatever it is that you want, make it big, really, really big. And I'll say it again, the, the bigger it is, the more chance you have for success. Here we go. Dear Aries, changes at the office have you choosing sides to get ahead. It might all be too much of a dramatic headache that's not, what? <laughs> Changes at the office have you choosing sides to get ahead, Aries. It might all be too much of a dramatic headache that's not worth the effort as a reclusive and reflective mood sets in. A secret you tried to hide becomes public. Oh yeah, Aries. Whatever. <laughs> Dear Taurus. 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 Okay. Double check your health. Double check your, your job. Double check your daily routine. And watch for accidents. Okay? Something you didn't expect is going to get revealed. And on top of all of that, love continues to shine brightly. But this area of your astral chart where this full moon is happening, just be careful. Right? Don't be too surprised. Don't get upset. Just be cool. Dear Gemini, Gemini, <laughs> Gemini, you're beginning the most creative cycle you've experienced in the last 10 years. You have a major opportunity for success here. It's highly probable that one of your little projects will gather life-changing steam. The way forward will suddenly become clear. And Gemini, you guys often have a lot of uh, irons in the fire, so to speak. So like, you know, one of them is going to pan out, okay? Dear Cancer, home is where you'll find your greatest rewards this astro cycle, but don't forget about the office. Your work-life balance is currently off and the bosses are beginning to notice. Push the creative envelope. Oh man, I gotta tell you guys, I'm so happy that I'm so over Cancer. <laughs> it's not even funny. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, cancer, there's a ton of energy that's being poured right into your home right now. But the angst that's going to happen, or the juxtaposition, <laughs> so to speak, it's actually opposition. It's uh, happening in your home versus your career. For some signs, that's a, well, whatever. But for you, that's going to hurt. So, be careful. <laughs> Next. Dear Leo. Leo, should you stay or should you go? Constantly running around... Whoa, Sonny, come on, man. Constantly running around with a purpose feels good, but when efforts outweigh rewards, it's time to question the game. Leo, it's time to plan a vacation. Yeah, you're running around a lot, you know? It feels good, but like... Like with everybody right now, you know? You gotta ask what's in it for you. And we're at the beginning, right? If it's if you're gonna, you're gonna spend the next ten years running around for other people, you're Leo. Well, I know the answer to that. The answer is no. <laughs> so like, 
<laughs> Figure out what's in it for you and make it happen. Dear Virgo! Virgo! Sure, money is strong and getting stronger, but you should still keep tabs on what's happening around you. Revelations in a joint financial project or money from family could cause concern. Watch your health. Okay, so obviously Virgo watch your health, but Virgos always watch their health, so it's kind of whatever. But the, um, except but I'm sick and I always watch my health, so <laughs> Virgo watch your health. And um, here's how it's going to play out. Money is really strong and it's coming to you and it's coming to you and it's coming to you. I don't know if someone's going to, a partner's going to get jealous or what's going to, like along that kind of lines, but someone is going to throw you off a little bit or something is going to get revealed that's going to make you think maybe the guy wasn't on your side in the first place or maybe they were you know just be aware of something like that dear libra our most beautiful sign <laughs> was can you by us believe someone was uh, wrote in and started debating me about saying virgo was you know because most miss americas or miss universe or something was virgo that virgo is the most you know, beautiful side. I'm like, is this some kind of joke? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's a professional competition. You have to plan, <laughs> plan, strategize, <laughs> and do things like talent competitions. Three things that Libras don't do. <laughs> Three things that Virgos do better than anyone else. But, you should ask yourself not who wins the most Miss Universe competitions, but how who are the how many uh, supermodels uh, are Virgos? And the answer is, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Libra, with so much love flowing your way, you are a most beautiful sign. You know, Taurus is beautiful too, but Libra is okay. The, uh, with so much love flowing your way, it's difficult to imagine a monkey wrench upsetting the happiness train. It's nice to bask in all of the attention, but your partner might not be so appreciative. Include them in the accolades. Yeah, Libra, you know, like, you're probably used to this, right? Oh, you probably. <laughs> you're used to this. But your partner might be getting a little, not jealous, but like, you know, a little put out a little bit. So like, Tag them along. Tag them along? Tag them in. Dear Scorpio. Oh man, love is saying hello in ways you didn't expect. And you may have to make peace with the fact that you missed your ast astrological chances cycle. If smiles turn to conversation, Scorpio, what's wrong with you? Make sure you get their number. Next. Dear Sagittarius. What the... An emotional weight has been lifted and it's time to steam ahead. All right. I know you don't like to put your goals on hold, but a secret romance, Sag, has your attention. Let love guide the day. Dear Capricorn, oh, this is interesting. Capricorn, more than any sign, seriously. Uh, to say, oh, I'll read what I wrote. To say you're publicly high viz would be a major understatement. In fact, this is the most public and successful you've been in almost 10 years. So if you're starting a new project, make it a good one. Make it a big one. It's, come on Capricorn, lead the way. You're the one who's, you're the one leading the way right now. So do it. Do a good job. Make it big. Dear Aquarius, Aquarius, every single part of you wants to get away from the hustle and bustle and just go and play on a beach somewhere. This is an expansive cycle. It's going to last a while. This week, however, you'll see exactly why your heart craves the normalcy of the close and comfortable. Yeah, Aquarius. I wouldn't expect, if it's someone's an Aquarius, I wouldn't expect any Aquarius to stick around this year. I'm not going to get in any relationships with any Aquarius. That's for sure. They're all set to hit the boogie right now. So, just saying. There is Pisces. Oh, Pisces, this is important. Money through joint ventures continues to be extremely strong. But this week, it's time to have a closer look at what's really in it for you. Success isn't always about accolades and achievements. 
money is important too. Spices have a closer look at the books. It's been fun, but we're at the beginning, right? And it's very, it's important. Like I believe that what happens at the beginning is a template for kind of everything. So like, make sure you're getting what is yours or what you want, because this is what you're gonna get for the next while. And that brings us to do 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 do. This week's lucky and love signs are Aries and Libra, with Scorpio and Taurus heating up fast. As for everyone else, be a super amazing, fantastic wing. Make sure you take your vitamin C, everyone. And pick up the check from the sunnyside.net. I'm Sunny, wishing everyone the absolutely best of a beautiful week. And I'll see you soon.